Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of In The Light and Merry Christmas. We hope that you and your family have had an amazing Christmas so far and amazing holidays and we hope that you continue to have an amazing holidays throughout the rest of the, the, rest of the holiday season. We hope you have a good New Year as well. We want to thank you guys for tuning in. You know, it's always an honor to bring you the message of Jesus Christ. It's always an honor to bring you this message. It's, it's just an honor to be here to, to, to do this for you, amen, um, that God has given me the honor to, to be able to do this for you. And if it's your first time tuning in to In the Light, we want you to know that the, the there is no problem, no matter where you're at, no matter what you're doing, uh, there's no problem too big for the Lord Jesus Christ to handle, amen, and that the power of Jesus Christ can transform and change your life forever, amen. We also want you to know uh, that if you're tuning in for the first time online on Twitch, on Facebook, on uh, uh, PSN Network, if you're tuning in on on Twitter or Daily Motion. You're more than welcome. Keep on tuning in if it's your first time. Keep on tuning in and see what you can get out of the message here that we have for In the Light. Amen. Here at In the Light, we want to shine the light of Jesus Christ until the whole world sees. Amen. Today's message is joy to the world. That's right. It's joy to the world. Amen. And the reason why we're calling it joy to the world today is because of this. In Luke 2 11, it says for unto you is born this day in the city of David, a savior, which is Christ the Lord three. That's right. It's joy to the world now because unto you is born this day in the city of David, a savior, which is Christ the Lord. That's why it's joy to the world. Amen. So as we gather this year, with the holiday dinners and exchanging presents and, and doing all the things that we do and shopping and doing all the things that we do that make Christmas such a joy. Amen. We want to remember that it's because the reason why it's joy for us is because there's born to us in the city of David, Christ the Lord. Amen. And I don't know. Christmas time is, is always been one of my favorite times it's a lot of it's everybody's favorite time of year and you know we've been believing God for a lot of things I know I've been believing God for some things this year and I know you've been believing God for some what are some of the things that you've been believing been believing God for have you been believing in God for maybe some people have been believing God for for a better for a better job I don't know maybe some people have been believing God for for more money maybe more people have been believing in God for some to heal some family matters or financial problems or or some family issues that you've had or maybe some of you have been believing God for your kids to start acting and behaving in a more proper manner. I mean, we're all praying for that. But, you know, the thing is, is that we believe in God for a lot of things. And, and sometimes we think that, you know, hey, I've been believing in God for that, for that Ferrari that I've always wanted. But, you know, but sometimes we think, we're just thinking that, hey, you know, that, that God's not going to come through. We're, we, we believe in God for it, but we don't think he's really going to come through on it. Amen. So we're all believing in God for something. We, oh man, we, we, we want God to come through. And isn't that how we always, how we always approaching God? We, we, we're believing in God for something this year. Amen. Aren't we? And we know that you are. And there's nothing wrong with that. God says, come to me, um, you know, in, in all things. Amen. So I'm going to show you what it means to, to have the joy of the, of the Lord unto us. Amen. And, and how it, it, it benefits us. Amen. I'm going to show you. And this is the first thing I need to show you. In Nehemiah 8, verse 10, it says, The joy of the Lord is your strength. That's right. It says in Nehemiah that the joy of the Lord is your strength. So the joy of the Lord, amen, the joy of the joy that was joy to the world, amen, the joy of the Lord, of Jesus, amen, that was born a Savior is your strength. Amen. This is what gives you deep down joy. I know you don't know that you, this joy is where this, your joy comes from, but this is where your joy comes from. Your joy comes from secretly deep down inside you from the Lord and savior, Jesus Christ that was born to you. Amen. A little baby. It's a cute little baby. This joy of the Lord Jesus Christ was born to you in the city of David. We're going to go a little bit further and we're going to, 
We're going to go a little bit back to a prophecy that was given to us by, by Isaiah, but is also written in the New Testament again. Um, here it is. In Matthew 1 verse 23, it says, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel. Four. So, Isaiah, a long time ago, prophesied that a virgin will bring forth a son. Amen. It's almost, this, this is almost an impossible thing. A virgin bringing forth a son. Amen. So, but this is why, this is what, I, this is what I'm leading up to. That a virgin was something that's impossible. Never have been with a man before. Amen. Would bring forth a son. Okay. So we go even further than that. And it says this, and this is why. Amen. That the joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen. This is why the joy of the baby boy Jesus, amen, is going to help you believe in God for things and, and, and trust him for things that are impossible. Amen. In Luke 137, it says, For with God nothing shall be impossible. Four. That's right. So in Luke it says that with God nothing shall be impossible. But what this is from it's from the angel the angel that came to mary when when she said be it unto me as it is in your word amen when the angel came to mary and said you are going to have a baby even though you're a virgin amen but not only that amen not only that your your cousin elizabeth is also going to bring forth a child who has been barren all of her life and now she's an old lady so this is what the angel said. The angel said this, said that you and your friend are going to have a baby, amen, a virgin and a barren woman. Because, why? Because all things are possible with God, right? All things are possible with God, what? Because of what? Because of the joy of the Lord, which is their strength, amen? That's right. So it says that nothing is impossible with God. Amen. Because of the joy of the Lord. Amen. Because of the little baby Jesus. Amen. That the angel said, the angel said, because of the baby that is born to you today in the city of David, that joy, amen, the joy of the Lord that strengthens you, amen, makes it that nothing is impossible with God. Amen. All we got to do is keep Jesus in our heart. So, if the joy of the Lord is our strength, amen, and the joy is Jesus, we got to keep Jesus in our hearts, amen, and then nothing is impossible, amen, nothing is impossible with God, and we can, we want to keep Christmas alive, we want to keep it alive all over your land, don't you, so now those things that you're believing in God for, that you believe that might be not so possible, amen, they're possible, amen, because nothing is impossible with God, amen, even above and beyond, all your wildest dreams. Amen. So let's keep Christmas alive this year. Let's keep it alive. Let's keep the joy of the Lord in our hearts and let's keep the joy of the Lord our strength. Amen. Let's keep, let's keep, let's keep Christmas alive this year. Amen. Let's keep it all the way until next year. Let's keep Christmas alive. My name's Guy and we'll see you in the light. We want to thank you guys for tuning back in to In the Light this week and this Christmas. And keep on tuning back in. See what you could get out of it. Amen. Uh, we're praying that your miracles, your miracles start happening for you and your family and for the people that you love and, and all the people that you care about this year. We're praying that your miracles start to happen for you this year. Amen. And we're also praying that healing miracles happen for those people who need healing in their life. Amen. We want you also to know that no matter what you're going through this holiday season or this year or any time, no matter where you're at in life, that the power of Jesus Christ can transform and change your life forever. If you want to give back to this ministry, stay tuned for some of the credits. The information will be in it.